This video is sponsored by Motion VFX. Apple has released Beta 5 for iOS 14 to developers, which provides a few new changes and features included with this new update. And so in this video, we're gonna go over everything new in iOS 14 Beta 5. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. First up, we have a new Apple News widget option, now offering a much taller widget window that basically takes up the entire screen and provides more space for users to see additional news stories. Unfortunately, due to its size, this prevents the widget from being used on the home screen and is only available in the Today View section. For apps that use location, there's now a pop-up that asks you if you want to allow widgets for those apps to also use your location data. Widgets can use location data for up to 15 minutes when activated, and the location services privacy settings for apps now mentions widgets. Inside of the Alarm Clock app, you can now use a finger to swipe through the clock wheel to set the time rather than having to type it. But because it is much smaller than the wheel in iOS 13, you do still have the option to type the time if that's easier for you. The interface for exposure notifications has changed in iOS 14 beta 5. Now tapping on turn on exposure notifications brings up an option to choose a country, region, or state, and it will let you know if an exposure notification app is available for your area. In iOS 14 beta 5, you now have the option to hide the hidden album inside of the Photos app. So whenever you hide a photo, the photo then gets removed from whatever album or the all photo section, and it just gets sent to the hidden album section. Unfortunately, anyone who just looks through your photo albums can just scroll down and find the hidden album available, and all the pictures are pretty easy to find. Well, with this new setting, while there are no additional securities set in place, you can now toggle off the hidden album, making it less likely for someone to stumble upon it. In the settings app under battery, the last charge level has been tweaked a bit. Rather than displaying the last charge level over to the right of the interface, it's now displayed with the last charge wording to make it easier to see at a glance. In the music app, one of my favorite additions to the now playing screen is the gradient color scheme that mimics the colors of the album art, and it sort of shifts throughout as the song is playing. Well, in older iOS 14 betas, whenever you switch tracks and there was a different color and different album art, the color sort of took a while to adjust to that new album art. But in beta 5, this color change just happens much faster. And finally, in the iOS 14 beta 5 code, there is a visualization of how the spatial audio feature for the AirPods Pro will work. It's not clear where this video will be shown, perhaps during setup, and although this video is available, the spatial audio feature is not yet enabled. Now before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, Motion VFX. If you haven't heard of Motion VFX yet and you're a content creator, well, buckle up because your life is about to get a lot easier. You might have seen some fancy animations or graphics popping up throughout most of our videos, and as much as I would like to say I created those beautiful transitions or animations myself, well, I really didn't. Work smarter, not harder, with over hundreds of different plugins and templates from Motion VFX. They are hands down the best resource for Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion plugins and templates. Installing a plugin is as easy as one click from the Motion VFX menu bar app, and customizing these plugins all takes place directly inside of Final Cut Pro. Just drag and drop your effect or transition into your timeline and edit that from the inspector window. It's that easy. If you want a recommendation on what plugins to check out, I would start with the M Lowers and M Transition Mega Packs. These are some of the best transitions and lower third graphics around, and there are so many of them, hence the name Mega Packs, that you can choose from to add to your videos and take it to the next level and add that unique look and feel. Honestly, I use these plugins every day, and they are a huge tool for helping me create content faster and easier. For more information about Motion VFX and the bundles that we recommended, you can click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.